Hey there, everyone. I hope you're rocking today. I've been asked many times what I think the future of geoscience is. Many people are worried about job prospects and stability, and I understand this well. Now, I don't quite have a crystal ball, but I do have some ideas I think can help you out. And if you dig deeper into these three ideas I'm going to show you, you will be better prepared for the future. Before I get going, if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want me to talk about, just leave them down below. Let's get rocking. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Chris, a professional geoscientist. There's a lot of concern about the future of geoscience work and whether or not there are going to be career opportunities out there. The specter of global warming, I mean climate change, the social stigma because of being involved in a science that is connected to climate change, the ever continuing promise of mythical technologies of infinite energy generation, also nonsensical legislation stopping resource development. There are many reasons to back away from a career in geoscience. However, here are a few interesting statistics I'd like to share with you. According to the Global Energy Statistical Yearbook and International Energy Outlook, the demand for cheap energy simply looks like this. As long as more of the world plugs into creating a better future, demand for energy goes up. Currently, hydrocarbons offer a reliable, cheap, efficient energy source. Of course, renewables are important. Wind, solar, hydropower, geothermal, these are becoming prominent on the world stage and should be encouraged. But there's a yet another set of interesting statistics I'd like to show you. According to the World Bank, more people worldwide are living above the poverty line than ever before. This means people are not just eking out an existence day to day, they have enough money to engage on the world stage, which means more energy consumption and more consumer consumption. Consumer consumption means stuff, which means resources, which means bones, which means lithium, gold, copper, silver, platinum, tungsten. All of these need to be found using geoscience. Here are three actions you can take to ensure you have a better chance at a future in geosciences. Number one, diversify. The gig economy is here to stay. You better have something that you can combine with geoscience to make your geoscience knowledge even more powerful. In my case, I've got GIS training. The great thing about GIS or geographic information systems is that it's got many uses outside of geoscience. I'm also good with graphic design. I'm also good with video production. Embrace the gig economy. Become creative. Combine your hobbies with geoscience. And if you're lucky, everything will turn out pretty cool. Number two. And this one goes without saying, learn to code. I think learning to code is important for pretty much every industry out there. For me, I started a long time ago in my academic career when I started with MATLAB. Now, I wouldn't say to do MATLAB at all. I would say to what you should be using is Python. Python's free, open source. There's many libraries out there. You can even use it for machine learning and AI, which is also part of Learn to Code. Number three, become a caveman. Now, hear me out. Self-driving cars, machine learning, online ordering, drone delivery, automated toilets, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. The future is automated, the future is robots. The best we can do is build them and program them and do what we do best, and that is be human. In my humble opinion, that means going back to being like a caveman. This means taking care of our body, lifting heavy weights, eating healthy food, harnessing our emotions, building friendships. Become a caveman. And those are my thoughts on the future of geoscience work. 
Here's what you can do right now to make sure you start being prepared for the future. Pick up a Python programming book and start from the ground up. I started with automate the boring stuff with Python. It's a little bit old, but it also helps if you have a project or a tool in mind to tackle while programming. There's no better time than now, so get cracking. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share my videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris. Keep rocking.